Stars. Have you heard the news? Cricket Protein Bars. I found a new product on the market that I've actually known about for a couple of years now um, that is finally in production and being sold. And what I'm talking about is a cricket, yes, chirping insect cricket, based protein bar for your nutrition and exercise needs. So I want to talk a little bit about this because there's a lot of pros and a lot of cons with this new concept. Um, there's a new company called EXO, E-X-O, and two entrepreneurs who recently graduated from Brown University um, started to produce a new protein bar with the main protein source being cricket flour or ground up and dried out crickets, just straight up, nothing taken out, not very highly processed, just crickets killed, ground into a powder, um, and that is the base of their protein source for this bar. So I was looking into their story, how they made it, and here's their mission statement. EXO's mission is to normalize the consumption of insects as a sustainable food source. So already there, I have a lot of things to say. Clearly, their, the ultimate goal of their mission is not to provide the healthiest source of nutrition to the public, which is fine, they're a business. Their mission is to normalize the consumption of insects as a sustainable food source. So the one thing I like about this is that there's no doubt that having crickets and insects be your protein source over cow's milk and cows and chickens and pigs and other farm mammals and birds, there's no doubt that insects are more sustainable to raise and grow as protein than those land animals that require so many calories to feed them, which is why we have hunger in this world. And also they take up so much water and they produce tons and tons of methane, which is a greenhouse gas that is a large factor for global warming. So yes, I do applaud these people for saying, hey, instead of eating your whey protein bar after your workout, here's my cricket bar. Um, it is a better solution. They're also claiming that this product is healthy. Now healthy, we know, is just a relative term that doesn't really mean anything anymore. People are saying there's healthy low-fat meats, there's here's a healthy candy bar. Um, so what do they mean by healthy? Pretty much what they mean is that crickets are lower in cholesterol than other animal products. Still, they contain cholesterol, which is a nutrient, not a vitamin, because the human body produces the ample, perfect amount of cholesterol for brain function and bodily function in, in, in general, which is why vegans and plant-based people intake zero dietary cholesterol because we do not need it through our diets. In fact, it is one of the largest reasons why we have such an epidemic of heart disease in our country and world because people are eating so much cholesterol, which gets deposited in the arteries and is the reason for heart disease and we really don't need to be eating any. So the fact that crickets do have cholesterol already nutritionally, take it out of my diet. I do not deem them healthy. Also, there's this big phrase in our world today that people love. It's a complete protein source. Crickets are a complete protein. Well, let me tell you a couple other complete proteins. Soy, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, buckwheat, and quinoa are also complete proteins. So I feel like when people see this world, oh, it's an animal product, it's complete protein, it must be the solution. There's tons of other plant-based complete proteins that will be just as beneficial for muscle growth, but don't require the growing of animals, the killing and slaughter of animals with a nervous system like the cricket has, um, and, they're, and they also contain no cholesterol, all these plant-based proteins. So there's tons of other complete plant-based proteins that you can get in protein bars, like uh, vegan Cliff bars and um, organic food bars and Vega bars are also have all that complete protein um, that you need. Is there an ethical, moral consideration that vegans can eat crickets over cows and chickens and pigs? I say absolutely not. So sure, the nervous system, which is the thing in the animal and human's body that allows us to feel pain, crickets have a nervous system. I grew up with tons of captive pets, reptiles, and I would feed a lot of them crickets because that's what reptiles have evolved to eat. 
Crickets have a nervous system. Try taking a cricket, even touching a part of its body, it will jump out of your hand because it's afraid to die, because it doesn't want to die. That's what a nervous system is. It triggers, this is going to hurt, this may make me die, I need to get away. So if you touch a cricket, it will jump. Clearly, if you pull a cricket's leg off, it will scream and squeal and chirp and flail all over the place because it is a living being that feels pain. So morally, I do not believe in eating insects because they have a nervous system. Now, the other con with EXO and this whole company and project is that they are really playing into the paleo high protein world. They have beautiful little graphics on their website that has the breakdown of what percent a cow is of protein or a chicken or a cricket. And sure, cow, so steak, ground beef is about 30% protein. 30% um, of its calories from protein. Chicken is about the same. And a cricket is almost 70% of its calories from protein. So it must be great, it's higher in protein. They are feeding into this whole movement that we need more protein. Protein is healthy in our diet. When all of the research and data, if you actually look into the medical studies and scientific studies, show a direct correlation between low protein intake and longevity and defeating illnesses and having improved health. So the one thing that I can't stand more than anything is when people tout, hey, high protein, this must be healthy. It is actually pretty much the reverse. I also think it's funny that all of their bars, except for the crickets, are entirely vegan. So they understand that they're trying to get away from a bar with animal products, um, but why the crickets? Why do we need the crickets? Um, I, I do support all their environmental statements that if we switch our whole um, food economy to more insect-based than animal-based, it would help a lot of our environmental problems. I absolutely agree with that. And like 80% of countries around the world use crickets as a uh, protein and food source because they're easy to catch and they've been doing it for thousands of years. I understand. But if we really want to be innovative, why don't we forget the crickets, insects, and animal products that feel pain, have cholesterol, and probably aren't uh, healthy to our overall diets and are very low in vitamins and minerals compared to all plant foods, why can't we start growing plant foods? Why can't we start, you know, growing more quinoa and flax seeds and chia seeds in America, which we can do, but for some reason we are not because people are so into, I need to eat animals to be healthy, who have no study in nutrition, have have looked at no research in any medical journals and just read what's on the front page of the newspaper and claim that they're nutritional experts. If you know me by now, I am all about high carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, sugar, are what fuels every single cell in our body. It's the number one fuel. Calories can be one of three, three things, a carbohydrate, a fat, or a protein. And it's undisputed that carbohydrates are the best fuel for all of our cells and for our energy, second to fat, and third to protein. This product is low in fat and low in carbohydrates and high in protein. So it essentially contains the worst source of energy um, as its pretty much main ingredient. Now it does have dates and other plant-based foods which are hot, high in carbohydrates, but the cricket itself is not a good form of energy. And this is a weird fact. Guess how many crickets are in enough cricket flour to be in just one bar? This is just sort of crazy. 40 crickets. So if you do the math, if you eat one of these bars a day, you will be eating 14,600 crickets in a year. Like, maybe I'm just being weird and that just sounds like such a big number, but it just sounds wrong. It just It's just not something I want to be a part of. So my end synthesis is ultimately, thank you, EXO, for trying to educate people that high animal product consumption is not healthy for the human body and that turning to a protein source with less cholesterol and less fat is probably healthier and it is way more sustainable than eating animals 
but I think they are beating around the bush when we know the answer is a plant-based diet. We can get the complete protein. We can fuel our muscles and body after a workout. Look at all the vegan bodybuilders and, and triathletes and marathon runners out there. Robert Cheek, Derek Treesize, Tori Washington, Rich Roll, Brendan Brazier, Jahina Malik. They're all out there. You can do it on a plant-based diet. You don't need to kill beings with nervous systems. You don't need to eat bugs. You can do it all through plants. That's how we should fuel ourselves. That's how we will get strong and make a more peaceful and sustainable world. It's in the plants, not the bugs. This is Vegan Style. This is Vegan Style.